Hey there, it's Big Tony over here at Magic. Coming at you with a little uh, test server action this weekend. Um, we are live. This is no cherry picked. We're going to have some fun. We're going to run some of the, the nerfed equipment out there. We're going to kind of see what how it's going to feel the upcoming uh, you know changes. And I'm starting off here with a buffed Revenant, 99% uh, gray damage resistance after teleport. And I've got the nerfed Subduer on here. Let's go ahead and I'm going to show you the firing rate here. Wow. It looks like it actually has spread to it. It's kind of all over the place. But um, it is definitely way slower. That is, I think that is, I think, I don't know. I think the nail in the coffin has been put into the Subduer. We got to spin on this guy. Let's give him a little love of ourselves. Yeah, we're, we got the ultimate Griffin this weekend. Man, these things just do, look at that. I just unloaded a full magazine on this guy and yeah, utterly blown apart and hardly doing any damage whatsoever. Um, yeah, the subduer is done. Yeah, seriously, it is done, guys. Uh, I wouldn't run it anymore. It's uh, like the tamers. It's going to go back into my uh, into my uh, mothballed portion of my hangar. It's not going to be run much anymore. It's good. This has also got a nerf to it. The Raptor got a little bit of a nerf. The Athos and the Aramis are nerfed as well. Now, let's give this guy a little love down here. We got a bunch of us hitting him. Now this, you know, this doesn't feel too horribly bad. I mean, that's what I'm working with is, you know, how does this feel on the battle? How's it performing? And I tell you what, if I can get a kill, that'd be great. There we go. It's going to jump. Yeah, targets over here. Um, yeah, I think this, you know, just from my initial feel here, I think this is going to survive the nerf okay. I think it's going to take a, I mean, the weapon is, you know, is definitely, they're going to be a little less effective, but this build here, I think, is going to survive. There's a nice double kill right there. Ooh, there's one of the new Condors right there. So we can't get him off the battlefield. We've got the assist. Now, one thing I have noticed playing out here is, yeah, I just got it with a shock train. Yeah, ultimate, oh, Ultimate Storm. Um, ultimate Storms are vicious. Seriously, they're vicious. Let's see if we can do a little work with that. Here's the Ultimate Griffin. We got a target right here. Let's go ahead and go to the top. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, he destroyed himself rather than let me have him. That, that's poor sportsmanship. And that is right up there a deadly build. We'll get out of line of sight. The, even though they nerfed the shock trains, the ultimate shock trains, just a little bit for a test server, they are still massively, massively overpowered. It's got a little look right there. And there's the, nerf, the uh, recently buffed Pine Doll. And, oh, I got just blown to pieces right there. Um, <laughs> let's go ahead and run the Heimdall. Heimdall, let's talk about that. It is uh, definitely better. The Heimdall feels better on the battlefield. Now, when it comes down to, you know, the weapons, I do, they slowed the, the accelerated firing no longer occurs with this. It, it, look at this. These are, of course, you know, these are the beta version, the Tum Columbus, Tulumbus. And I tell you, they just look, look, I mean, seriously, they just feel slow. And do a little damage up there to that condor in flight. I mean, you're still going to be able to use these weapons, but honestly, probably the crates are going to be a little better when it comes to, you know, at least you're doing DOT damage. But, oh man, this is just, oh man, they fire so slow. So, so slow. Holy mackerel, let's we got over here. And a couple, and now let's go ahead and... Get back into healing mode, get a little heal going, back into assault mode, back into my uh, guy on my team here. Yeah, this thing is, oh my gosh, yeah, these things are just, yeah. I mean, you're still, if you have them, use them. I mean, I, you know, it's, they're still going to get you some action on the battlefield. It's just, they're not going to be as dominant as they used to be. Oh, ho, ho, maybe not. I just got wiped out by that Eiffel up there. Now, one thing to bear in mind, though, is one, we have no pilot skills. Two, I'll just be brutally honest with you, uh, hackers are left and right all over in test server. They just, they really, really are uh, just, I mean, there's no regulation over here. This is like the Wild West. It's good. And, oh, man, this, oh, man, this thing is so slow. And here are the brand new, newly nerfed, Tesla weapons. Oh, I didn't get the kill on that. But you can see they fire, they have a break, they have a fire, they have a break. 
Uh, definitely, they've, they've basically cut the damage output by like half on these things. And as you can see, when I'm charging now, yeah, the charge speed is reduced, but still somewhat okay. Now they did reduce the uh, DOT effect. You know, when you get hit, you, you know, it turns into DOT and it lasts for X number of seconds, going from six to four seconds. That's kind of it's a nerf, kind of not a nerf in some respects. Uh, it means the DOT is not going to be damaging you as long. But in some cases, that uh, let's go, and go back to the hangar. Uh, in cases of like the Hiroku drone and of course the uh, Tiger pilot that require DOT to give you a special effect, it means that those are going to be less effective. These are indirect nerfs to the Hiroku drone and to the Tiger pilot, the Vepka pilot. So definitely we got some interesting stuff going on right there. Um, definitely this is going to really lower lower the power creep in the game, guys. Um, honestly, I think this is going to balance things out. Uh, if you're expecting, you know, your, your massively, you know, overpowered bots that you're running before, like the Curry. Now, I should probably put together a Curry for you guys. Let's go ahead and take a look up here. To see, can I, is it in the special, special areas that I need to get the Curry? Because the Curry took a pretty significant nerf. So let's go ahead and just kind of scroll through here. There's the curry. Let's get the curry. And let's go ahead and let's build the curry with, uh, you know, let, let's put the weapons on it that normally are on it. So let's get rid of the revenant. The revenant, it, it's going to be a little better, but I don't think it's going to be a champion league bot. I just really don't. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Uh, let's go ahead and put the drone on here. Let's put the, you know, let's... Go ahead and put to it the Pascal drone. This has been nerfed, but this is part of the power build right here. And let's go ahead and put modules on here. The module rework, have not heard anything about the module rework yet. So you know, when I tell people, it's like, you know, should you be investing in your modules, your passive modules? That's a tough one to answer because I just don't know what's going to be coming down the pipe. These things might radically change and you might be out a lot of currency that you put into it. Or... It might turn out to be a, a, a huge benefit, which let's be brutally honest, we haven't had big changes in the game and they'd be absolutely beneficial to players. So I'm just, I'm just, I can't recommend you guys that, yeah, go out there and, uh, you know, invest a lot in those modules. Okay, let's go ahead and we got to, let's put the curry on the battlefield here for you guys. Um, more TDM, because that's what they run here on test server is mostly TDM. Okay, and now we got, yep, let's, we got the two subduer build, which is, this is one of my meta builds right here that I run on a live server. So let's go ahead and show you this firing rate again. Oh yeah, that is so slow. Oh my gosh, you can see it right there. Oh, that is so terrible. I mean, seriously. Now, we're gonna have to be in close range because the turrets now are at a 350 meter range instead of 500 meters. Less damage, but a little more lockdown. So it definitely, this is this is definitely going to have to be played just a, a little bit different. All right, let's just I just need to get let's go ahead. We're in range of a couple. Let's go ahead and throw this out here. Boom, 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 boom. A few shots there. There's one of those new condors. Let's go ahead and get behind cover because while he's in air, he's got those. those oh yeah, look at that ultimate shock trains. One shot, one kill the most toxic weapons in the game from years ago are now the most toxic weapons in the game again. So at least thankfully they're only available as ultimate edition so they're harder to get for most people but for the hardcore pay to win players you are going to be seeing them over and I didn't really even get a chance to run the curry for you guys because of him. Um, yeah, because everywhere on test server everyone can have access to those uh, super weapons so it's just a little bit uh, tough to run the you know, the right configurations for you guys and show you in a non-cherry-picked manner, uh, you know, how these things are going to play out. Okay, it's, it's got a little love in flight. Here we go, so the... And we got ourselves a Seraph up there, Feather Destroyer. Let's get blank cover because we got some weaponry being thrown my way here. Let's do a pop attack. This is like in the old days. Boom, 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 boom. I didn't get the kill, and someone was definitely hammering on me. Fine, 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 fine. You're closer, so that'll work. But doom! That's old. School, that's old school pop attack. That reminds me of the old days. Seriously, you put yourself in such harm's way though by doing it. 
probably the better way is to do this. Boom, boom, fade back attack. Boom, 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 get out of range. Oh, I didn't get the kill, but I did smack some, I smacked some damage out pretty good right there. All right, let's go ahead and spin it here. Yeah, the, the, the nerd, oh man. The, I mean, every, you know, every year we go through this, you know, massive rebalance business. And I tell you, it is so brutal every time we do it. I, I definitely wish that, you know, things would change just a little bit. So things wouldn't come out so over the top. Because, boy, it would really save on these big, massive changes every year. And I don't know, maybe the this whole Intel business, because bots get indirectly nerfed now by the amount of time you spend playing and encountering, you know, specific builds and the reduction in damage, all that. So maybe they won't have to nerf things as much thanks to that system. So let's go ahead and run the Ocho. show. Uh, yeah, we are winning this one. That's good. And I'm not seeing, you know, even though I know there are a lot of hackers in, you know, on the tester rock. Thankfully, I'm not seeing as many as I normally do here. So let's go ahead and drop it. I did a little damage on him. I think he did range. Oh, it's so close. I almost got in on that. But definitely this thing is, you know, the Ocho I don't think is done. But I do think there's going to be some, I gotta wait, wait for the jump. Oh, and then I missed jump. Oh, that was good. That was brilliant. And of course, now I'm completely in a bad spot, but um, trying to get that jump, I just didn't hit the button right. Um, of course, I, I'm running tester where I don't have my buttons configured quite the way I want to, but that's no excuse. Um, <laughs> I just botched that up. Okay, let's go ahead and run this here. The, the, the Raptor, and we've got ourselves the Nerf weaponry on here. And this was actually the bot I was having the most luck with in the last match, so. Definitely. Definitely, I think, uh, out of the nerf bots, I think the Curry is going to take the hardest hit. And this one here is actually not going to take the hardest hit, I don't think. Uh, even though the weaponry is hit, the Raptor itself is a little bit hit, I do believe. Um, but it definitely is, yeah. <laughs> it's just, this is such a hard, uh, you know, a, a hard eval to give. Because, you know, when everything is being nerfed, it's kind of hard to sit there and, you know, give up. You know, how is this going to impact the game? We really don't know until we see how all this pans out against pilot skills. Because pilot skills do make up a fair chunk of uh, the benefits that your bots get. So, so let's go ahead and... Oh, this thing already reloaded. So we did need to reload that. I'm going to hit Unstable Conduit because I can. Let's give a little love. Uh, unstable Conduit. It's right above me. I'm going to go Airborne. There we go. Now I can go Airborne. Oh, yeah, give him love. Give him the love. Boom. There we go. Like that. And that was the new mothership right there. I wasn't. I hit the button. I'm so used to running the other, the Avalon, which is just hit and heal. And I tell you, that is something in muscle memory I'm going to have to work on, especially if I switch over to the new mothership. Be going from a defensive support mothership to a uh, an assaultive mother mothership. It's going to take a little bit. Now this here, the Condor, of course, is going to be an absolute beast in the meta. You put pilot skills to this, and it is definitely going to cause a lot of chaos, I think. Just get some love on this guy right here. Boom, there's a Rampage. Nice. And let's go ahead. Oh, I got hammered out right there. That's, what do I got left? I've got my Heimdall. My, my, ner my, it's buffed with nerfed weapons. So it's, he's out of range. And just a little fire down, you can see. That looks, oh, I'm about to do a little looking at live server. Boy, at live server, but that looks slow. I mean, really, DPS, damage per second, on many, many things in the game are going down significantly in the uh, upcoming, yeah, in the upcoming uh, meta that will be 10.4. Most of our meta weapons are not going to be as beasty as they used to be. Okay, we're just kind of walking through here. We got 20v20. I can do a little cut there. I'm doing some damage. I was until he got behind cover. See, I can get a little shot in him maybe. Nope, he's behind cover. He's 
stepping out maybe? I did a little damage there. I think I shot him that one. Nope, not going to. He is still hiding behind cover there. Let's go ahead, put it up with the special ability rock, and let's hit him with suppression. Chew on him a little bit. Target event. Now nah, he's in a good spot. I can shoot at him. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Now I'm hitting. Now we're doing some damage. And he's out of there. Let's flip this guy to step out. Oh, oh, I wanted that kill. Okay, now I'm just going to need to get a straight shot on this guy. I'm too close. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Titan Slayer, nice. Nice! And I think that's going to be about it. I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm going to run one last match for you guys. And... Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap out the subduers. Uh, and we're going to uh, put uh, some blights, or excuse me, decays on my curry. Because we saw the subduers are kind of, they're firing slow, just like uh, the good the good old-fashioned tamers do. They're now slow firing, kind of worthless, just like the... Uh, cutting this firing speed down by half cuts the DPS, the damage of the subduer down by half. So, yeah, it's just brutal. Let's go ahead and swap out a quick uh, couple weapons here real quick. Let's go ahead and put... Now, when it comes down to the Pascal drone, you know, yeah, I'm getting ta I'm getting destroyed out there, but you know what? I'm not thinking about it. It's not like obvious that the Pascal drone is a failure. It's just not going to be quite as effective as it was before. So definitely looking at the Pascal drone. If you have them, they're still usable. Just they're not going to be that overpowered beast that they used to be. But thanks to all the weaponry being nerfed down, um, don't need to have a drone to be that powerful, I guess to still be somewhat effective. Let's go ahead and put the curry out here. Now they did change the burst firing on this. So let's go ahead and do a test firing at a wall here. I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. Let's go ahead and turn to the side here. Wait for, here we go. Now let's look. Oh my gosh. And yeah, boom, 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 boom. These weapons are done. Lights are done. Let's, let's be brutally honest. Uh, yeah. Subduers, not going to be good anymore. Your Blights and Decays, the free-to-play weapons, which are actually, were actually pretty good on the battlefield, are now just, oh, they're garbage. I need to drop the turret here. I'm getting hit with, uh, with hurricanes or with, oh, uh, beastie, stupid weapons. I think a few shots maybe on him in the air. Yeah. I need to get right there, right in the front here. We got Bagley Or. Let's give him a little love. He's got the, the weapons on here, those shotguns, those new Sonic guns. Yeah. Curry. <laughs> if you have good weapons on it, you might stand a chance with your curry. But without good weapons on, if you're just running blights like that, they're so slow firing. Uh, I think they are just they're they're done. The yeah, your radiation weapons, uh, they've just been relegated down to uh, you know basically gold leak. <laughs> this is not good. This is not good. It's good. Yeah, let's go ahead and just get up against the wall here. Now I'm just going to kind of march forward here. The Ocho I'm going to have to start to run somewhat like how I run my Angler, which is I'm going to have to let's see if we can just shove. Oh, I didn't get a chance to shove them right off there. Oh man, just got absolutely hammered out by an ultimate storm. Uh, next meta, guys. Ultimate storm, ultimate shop train. If you see them on the battlefield, they're going to wipe you. Um, they are going to be just absolutely a beast. And these new bots, yeah, these here too, I think, are not going to be easy bots to deal with on the battlefield either. So let's we need to get a shot on something here. There we go. Let's get a little damage down the straight here. Get my cover. Let's hit the unstable conduit. Yeah, they are definitely setting up that people are going to want to run the unstable conduit. There we go. <laughs> get get out, of, out of the way, you goof. Yeah, then get right in front of me. Dang, oh man, dude. Dude, dude, you are not helping the game at all. <laughs> oh, I'm so slow. I'm not even going to try to fly that. I am so slugged down right now that there is no way I could try to clear that and actually uh, not get completely toasted and land in the drink down there. Let's cover your unstable conduit again. Yeah. 
got a target here. Let's see if we can get a shot on him. There's a nice triple kill. I'd like to get a move over to the other side here. We are tied up. Oh, yeah. No, oh, dude, dude, dude. Oh, man, I just got absolutely just snot hammered by a glaive. That's, that's a shock. That's shocking. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go ahead and spawn down here. Let's not spawn with the ultimate uh, griffin. Okay, he's dashing. Let's, let's go ahead and do a jump. When I get in range, I can just kind of smack down this guy if I can. Boom, 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 boom. Now, I'm giving him basically, you know, when he's in flight mode, he's got those shields around him. I'm not going to be doing a lot to him. There's a nice kill right there. Uh, definitely the Condor is one of those bots. If you're going to kill it, it's got to be on the ground when you kill it. Otherwise, you're not going to be doing a lot to it in the air with those shields on it. Boom, boom, boom. There's a nice Titan Slayer. Oh my gosh, I'm definitely going to want to get this. Of course, the, these storms are awesome. But if, if it's, you know, the, the last several, let's say, the last several ultimate, uh, you know, tasks to get to, to the last one, like the uh, ultimate uh, raker and the pilot and all that, it was really, it, it is, it was really expensive trying to get to that. So I, I really couldn't get a shot at that particular, uh, you know, weapon, pilot, and bot system. So I'm hoping this is going to be a little more forgiving, but I highly doubt it. They make these things so hard to get now. It's not like with the Ultimate Fenrir. The Ultimate Fenrir, I was able to pick that up for about 20 bucks and a ton, a ton of grinding. But they've definitely made it that you can't really grind for these things anymore. These are things that are, you know, these are definitely collector's items and collector's items it just intrinsically says you're going to be spending money. Oh, and I got, I got, got the kill, but I got hammered out right there. So Ultimate Griffin, put a jump module on that. Boom, boom, and you're gonna, there's going to be a specialty pilot. I'm sure it's going to give it another jump. Now, I think there is one that actually does. But it definitely, that ultimate griffin, I think, is going to be fun. I really hope I get a chance at getting that in a live server. There's a nice kill right there. Yeah, like I said, the raptor, I'm not too concerned about. Raptor, I think, is going to survive. Ocho, Ocho's survival, it's going to be like the angler. It'll be a fun bot to play, but it definitely is not going to be surviving in the meta very well, I don't think. Let's go ahead and move it here. We got all the Titans out here. We got Burglaziers all over out here. And I'm vapor locked here. How close am I on my mothership? I'm a ways off on the mothership. So let's get in range. Give this guy a little love. I'm just going to run. He's going to jump. Let's give this guy a little love here. We got a bunch of them. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Do a little damage. Do a little damage. Let's go ahead and jump over the top of them. We have multiple, multiple bergs here. Let's land on his head. <laughs> Bump. Hi, right, guys. How's it going? Now yeah, I'm right in his line of sight. I'm, I'm, I'm going to use the cheat button. I'm hitting the uh, unstable conduit. But uh, there, he finally got picked off there. Go ahead and drop uh, the last one. Let's drop my Heimdall in. Now, Heimdall, I don't think, is going to be hitting meta with the buffs that it's gotten. Now, the Luchador taking its nerfs will be, you know, dropping a bit. And I'm probably actually going to replace my uh, Luchador with my Bedweer. Bedweer is going to be a better tank than the Luchador from going forward at this point. I'm not even going to run it in test for you guys. This is a 24-minute video already. I don't need to be running it any longer. Let's go ahead and get myself into assault mode. So you're going to throw a little fire at me. Can I get a shot on him, maybe? No. How about the other one? He's in range. Give him some love. Can you see, this is... Ch it, oh, man, I just got Vindicator. <laughs> Vindicators didn't get any nerfs. And they... That is going to be a beast killer. Right? Beast killer right there. The Vindicator, uh, Burglazier, along with the Mauler, are definitely beasts on the battlefield. Let's go ahead and uh, hop out of the battle here, and let's just go ahead and wrap this up for you guys. This is plenty long for a, a test server video. So let, let's talk about it. Um, Ocho. It's going to come down from where it is, kind of bordering meta into meta, down to where about where the angler is, which is a good bot. It's going to require skill. Um, you're definitely going to be, you know, you're not going to be that overpowering force in the battlefield you used to be. 
So definitely you're going to want some good pilot skills on this. You're going to want some longer range weapons. Uh, and of course the Li Mings, the Shai Fangs, and the Fang Bows are taking in there. Basically their damage is being cut in half. Uh, so those are not going to be your greatest weapons for upfront brawling anymore either. Just quick ambushes are going to be best for those. So definitely this build and these weapons, they're just getting shoved out of the meta a bit, guys. They really are. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Uh, Aramis, the Athos Raptor build here. Uh, I think it's going to survive well. It's not going to be as deadly as it was before, but still you're getting some healing back from it. It's a little longer reload. It's a little less damage, but still it should survive pretty good as a meta build. So it's going to be not be the meta build, but it definitely will be uh, in the meta still. Um, Decay's toast. Just put my radiation weapons away. They, they are done. Radiation weapons are done. Um, with those slow firing rates, you're going to see them relegated to the lower leagues. That's where they're heading. Um, of course, the Curry, I really didn't get a chance to use it too much because I kept getting nailed out. I put the you know bad weapons on them. But the Curry... It's going to be, it's, it's drifting out of the meta slowly, slowly, slowly. This is this is the first uh, good hard nerf that's taken. So you're talking, you know, a little less repair. It's got, uh, its turret isn't quite as effective, but it's got enhanced uh, lockdown capability. Uh, this is just coming down to where it probably should have been released in the first place. It'll be a good bot, still usable, put the right weapons on it. You should be fine with it. It's just not going to be the overpowering bot that you remember. Pascal Drone. It'll work fine for you for the time being. Uh, instead of getting three, instead of getting the monster heals that you get three times, it's a little less of a heal two times, uh, but still pretty solid. And then you're at least getting your uh, you're getting your defense points twice per game. And I think what they're trying to do is maybe shorten these matches up a little bit. So Pascal Drum, it's, it's going to be okay. Curry, it's going to be okay. Radiation weapons, kiss those babies goodbye. New bot, played with it. New weapon like it it's definitely going to uh <laughs> it's going to be a monster on the battlefield when you put pilot skills to this i think it's going to be a beast this will be this is going to bump into that position where the curry was because this has some very curry like abilities so definitely in the air this thing is a beast on the ground that's where you're going to want to go after this thing you want to take it out as quickly as possible and of course the heimdall it's getting a nice bump it's coming into the into the realm of playability, but definitely this is not going to be a replacement for your Luchador. It's just not. And of course, the Luchador, I think that thing is being pushed out of... It's being pushed out of Champion League. It's going to be a lower league free-to-play Titan, eventually. It'll still be playable, but it's not going to be competing nose-to-nose -nose with a Mauler anytime soon. Alrighty, guys, I think that's going to be a wrap-up here from the test server. Live, nothing cherry-picked. Just a lot of fun. All right, guys, if you like what you're seeing and hearing, make sure to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell for notifications. That way you know when I'm dropping it. Stay safe and healthy. Watch out for each other. And I'll catch you on the battlefield.